Okay, good afternoon, Key Stage 3. Welcome to your ready, steady, cook element of your mindful menu day. Now, what's going to happen is the house leaders are waiting outside this door. The drama and the tension, you could cut, pardon the pun, with a knife. So what the house leaders are going to do is they are going to walk into this door and they are going to pick themselves as either chef one, two, three or four. And those are the, if we just pan round, miss, I've, I've got a professional camera on today. We are, we've got four different areas where there is food, ingredients and a recipe card underneath. The house leaders have no idea what is under each one of the piles and we will do a reveal in a moment. So stay tuned and I will see you soon. It's that time where the house leaders are going to enter the food cooking room. The tension, they don't know which one of the four areas they are going to be working with. Can I have an ooh in the audience? Ooh. That's right. So first up, she's a PE teacher. She is head of Hawking House. We have got Miss Fox and she will go ooh. over to one of the four areas. Don't remove the cloth just yet. Next up, we have got Head House, also from Team PE. We have got Woo! Mrs. Watson. There we go, entering the building, choosing one of the four areas. Which one is she going to go to? She's gone closest to the window if she needs to jump out here. <laughs> right, then we have got next up, he's from overseas. Hopefully he'll be able to sprinkle Woo! a fallen twist on his cooking. It's Mr. Woo! Stewart, Head of Curie House. And last, and from English, be able to sprinkle some flamboyant words and cooking, it is Head of Charmin House, Miss Smith. Woo! Welcoming. So guys, this is the moment we're going to do a big countdown where you are going to reveal your ingredients. Once you see your ingredients underneath that cloth, you will have a recipe card and then your, we will say, a very flexible 20 minutes will commence. We're going to reveal your ingredients in five, four, three, two, one. What have we got? Have a walk around, Miss Clark. Have a look at the ingredients. Oh, what are we cooking? So we've got Miss Smith here. What are we cooking, Miss Smith? Which one have we got? Curry and flatbreads. We've got curry and flatbreads for Miss Smith at the front if we come round. Come on, Miss, go on your skates here. What have we got over here? We've got chicken noodle soup. We've got Miss Fox oh, that is doing a bit of an oriental flavour. Oh, wow. That's typical. There we've got over there. And then we've got, oh, this mayonnaise on Stewie's plate. He won't be happy. That's too much fat content for him. Yeah. But it is a salad. So not he won't not be happy. Bad. And then what have we got over here? Hey, up the meatballs, got the meatballs in the corner. Let's go. Guys, best of luck. Your 20 minutes starts now. Yeah, do you turn the oven up? You don't need an oven, do you? It says preheat your oven. I'm definitely oven There's hell on here. For left to oven. I mean, I think my. Are these back in the 1950s? Oh, hell, it says here you have to make your own spaghetti as well. So I'm just cutting this like when I when I got taught in school um, I did catering to Jesus. Oh, really. it's not me off. <laughs> so I'm just dicing this as <laughs> the uh, quite enthused actually. I'm just I'm just going over my methodology because I think it's slightly different than what I'd usually do. Um, but yeah. Oh I'm on camera, right? Sorry, I thought it was genuinely asking. I'm chopping, I'm going shopping. On my green board, which is for veg and salads, and my red one is for uh, meat. Oh. I'm with it. Seasoned as chicken. Pre-seasoning. Pre-seasoning. Yep, just let it bed into the, the meat. Oh. Um, let me just open this little bag of sea salt. There we go. And then the key is here. It's a secret now. Right, you can't tell anyone this. Okay. Okay, the secret is once you get the bag open, it's just a pinch, just a pinch of sea salt. <laughs> just a pinch. Yeah, not too much, because it's overpowering. There we go, look at that. Look. Oh. One little drop, two little drop. See that? Yeah. It's like it's not even there. Let's just see, the key is here, another nice top meal. tip, another top oh, tip. Oh, another Stewie's okay. top tip. Right. When cutting, make sure that you press into the meat and then you run the blade just in front of the fingertip. Prevents cutting off your fingers. See? Oh, that's, that's, a yeah. that's a great tip. That's a good tip, isn't it? For you all you young aspiring chefs. Yeah, that's what you want to do. you are. Um, I think I'm a little bit beyond that. Okay. Like Gordon Ramsay rings me and says, Mr. Stewart, what should I make this weekend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Okay, that's actually. Um, what stage are we up to? What's the dream? What are we making today? Well, on my green chopping board for veg. All right, okay. Red for meat and a green. I'll say that, okay. Yes, I All am right. currently just still chopping my fingers off, probably. <laughs> with the, oh, the chopping dice in the onion. Like that, dice okay. I'm going lengthways and I'm going across. 
Right, okay, nice. And what's the dream? What are we making? Meatballs and tomato sauce? We're making meatballs and tomato sauce. So this is for the meatballs, but I've got to chop another onion after this for the sauce. So I can't wait for that part. Be cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you need help, I've got a tip for cutting. <laughs> Do it again, that was really interesting. <laughs> Ingredients. Oh, dear. Just grated some garlic. I've realised I'm not meant to grate in here oh. when I've done it. So I'm just going to keep going. We're not going, going back now. No, there's no going back. I'm not going to pick out the individual things of garlic. So we're getting garlic in with our onions. Lovely. And we're going to hope it works. Just take that hard. Mm. And then yum. No. <laughs> I'm going to even put. Would, I'm going to. I might stick that in. No, I won't. I won't. Uh, look, always tidy up after yourself on the go. Thankfully, I found a grater that will be helpful for little Mr. Stewart. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Off you go, Mr. Uh, Stewart. Do I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What are you flopping around out here? What's, what, which bit? You just bring on you. Surely it just cooks in the well, heat of the water. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, but it doesn't say. It says top with them. So, like, do I leave at the like, end when everything's cooked? Are they raw? Yeah, they're raw. Okay, so it, 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 these pots. They'll taste them. Oh my God. Yeah, make more. Make more. <laughs> I'll have some spares. Make, I mean, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Gannick's here. What are you making, sir? Do you know what I'm making? Wait, wait. <clears throat> yeah, what are you making? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, you just didn't have <laughs> No, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, you join us here. Um, we're well into the cooking challenge now. I believe we started um, towards the end of December and uh, we're now here in February. Let's have a look at a progress check um, for Mr. Stewart. So, so far, he's managed to... Um, he's, he's managed to... Uh, <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look over here. You can see the sabotage. <laughs> my my olive oil's been taken. So I'm about to put these in the oven. What they're going Ooh. in is they're going in gas, mark, or actually it's electric. They're going in 220. <laughs> Convectional oven. Okay, look how lovely they are, guys. That's Woo! superb. Ooh. He cracks off over there. He's only, he only has one thing to cook. It's an hour with, from Mrs. Stewart. Bit of progress over here on the Northern yeah. Irish camp. There it is. Oh, oh. I'm oh. oh. So we're just trying to get as much colour, as much veg in here as possible. Um, it really I'm, I'm not following the, the recipe anymore <laughs> so we're just making it up <laughs> has he got a really has he got a really small grate and really big hands nobody knows <laughs> 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 it's not going to I mix some yogurt and some flour together and then I'll put it in the pan. Oh, it like turned out well. It's turned out, it looks almost like a professional's done it. But obviously not a professional hasn't done it, it was me. Obviously. Just adding diced onion in, chopped finely with my own hands. I'm going to let that cook for three minutes and then I'm going to add the garlic in. So my next tip is to wash as you go. Know. Because you never know when you might need that spatula, that knife, or that chopping board. So, wash as you go, kids. It's going to have no washing up to do at the end. Over, she's there. <laughs> she's been at the spot. Yeah, she came over. Have you turned my oven off? No, I didn't. I didn't turn your oven off. I told you, man. It was after the break. Mr. Stewart's oven's been turned off. Five minutes to go, chef. Five minutes. <laughs> what are you doing, Stu? What are you doing, Stu? This is the What's in there then, Chef? Tell so us. Got, that looks like lemon juice, yep. This is a little secret ingredient one. Yeah. Okay. This is for those who like things a little bit more fruity. Okay. Like yourself. Like myself. Yeah. No, what we're cooking. So What's we're cooking? Go cooking. Go cooking. Go cooking. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Oh, oh, it's over-seasoned it. Over-seasoned it. No, 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 you see, because... Too much risk. No, no, because... Oh, you're going to wear it. Because... 
the anchovies are very, very pungent. Ah, so what you're trying to, to, you're trying to overcompensate, okay. so there's more garlic. I think, is this a sentence like, oh, like to neutralise the acidity? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they're not acidic, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I just words I've heard on MasterChef, mate. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think it's quite, it's quite robust. It's quite a robust food. Right, that's it. So I'm trying to taper it down a little bit. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah? So you're trying, to, you're trying to increase the market for your Caesar salad? Basically, it's going to be one of two choices for Zed. Chef, right, uh, chef, uh, yeah, Doug got Mitch's dad restaurants for nothing. The presentation is key. Now, come here, my chicken. It doesn't look very appealing at the moment, but there's the only way up. Um, yeah, I'm optimistic still. Presentation looks lovely. Most of it's the bowl, to be honest. I didn't break, but I'm going to work with what I've got. Ooh. Okay guys, we're now into the final phases. I'm not going to give you very long at all now. We've got three minutes left. Do we understand? Yes, yes sir. Thank you. Yep. Every good chef has to chase before I've got the display. So we're at the final stages now. I'm just giving it a quick um, a quick stir. Um, it's really starting to feel it smell quite... Uh, oh, I'm just, I think I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> like this. Oh, it's starting to look good now. I've added in the chopped tomatoes, added in loads and loads of curry powders. We've got a hoe that Mr. Leary likes being spicy. Ooh. And we have also put in a bit of chicken stock. Not too much though, because I don't want the sauce to be too watery because nobody wants a watery curry. Yeah, that's true. So I think I've, I think I've sussed it. It was, a, it was a wobbly start, but I think I've brought it round. I think I've brought it round. I'll dent it. Like the lady of the <laughs> okay, so we've got the finishing touches here from our uh, Belfast beauty. He seems to be olive oiling his crew. They're the biggest croutons I've ever seen, but he's a big guy. Uh, what are you doing here, Stu? I mean, just uh, drop the olive oil on. Just a let it drop soak of in. olive oil. Just let it soak. Hey, me. The Middle East have been on the phone. And then just a little bit of black pepper. <laughs> here to do this. Mute. <laughs> now, as I said, every chef should clean up after themselves. So I'm just about finished. I'll just lead you over here to my presentation. Now, just to simmer in away that. We've got our little sort of, um, yes, our parsley around there with our tomatoes, and we've got some parmesan. <laughs> I've just tidied up my area, and um, we just added some coriander and some mint to finish, so it's quite fresh taste. Ooh. I've got some chili, some. Um, some spring beans, some lime, some coriander, um, oh, a cinnamon stick, um, just you know, for presentation, just so it looks good. Um, and then these stars of anise, we've got some stars of anise in here as well, you know, just for finishing touches. And um, so we're just waiting for it all just to fall together and just get all the all the taste together. Look at that. Professional. Oh, wow. That's not professional. That looks lovely. Imagine it in there. It's not good. Have you put the cream in? Not put the cream in yet. I'm going to use that in like a kind of like dollop on the top. Oh, very nice. Stick. I thought about the presentation. Very nice. Guys, we're entering crunch time. One minute left. Woo! One minute left. Nice. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Some kind of countdown clock music. I mean, you have had an hour to cook a 20-minute dish. I've never seen faffing like. Well, I have. I work with you every day. But. <laughs> Right then, it's that time we've all been waiting for. It is the judging process. Two supporters with the judging process today. We looked far and wide for a culinary expert. We struggled to find that, so we looked at somebody who <laughs> enjoys food. So, <laughs> it's, it is with great pleasure, and can the kitchen please just give him a round of applause to introduce our guest, guest judge, Mr. Leary. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Leary, here's the premise. Um, the Me. four dishes cooked by the chef, you have no idea who cooks what, is that correct? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. So the That's idea great. is going to be, um, hopefully you've not got any allergies. If not, just chew quickly. Just cats. Um, yeah, if you have. <laughs> just cats. Just cats. Um, so they made it out of cats. I can't guarantee it isn't cats, but I've got fingers crossed. But basically, sir, you're going to walk down and you're going to sample each dish. Just give us a bit of chat about each one. And then at the end, we need a ranking. We need fourth place, third, second, first. So, sir, do you want to start at this end? Right, so I believe we've got an Asian broth dish. Wow. 
Wow. Um, you've got wow. some influence there to tuck into. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, go on, get go. a bit of everything, do a bit of uh, Greg Wallace. Yeah, go in now. Oh, I mean, don't eat the two limes there, they're just for dressing. <laughs> Are you supposed to be able to eat everything on the plate? Um, yes. Yeah, here we go. Very nice. If you're going to kind of talk us through, do you know like they do on the shows when they talk with the mouth? Yeah, get, a bit it's really of annoying. get a bit of everything. I mean, yeah. Do I have to do like core? Yeah, do, core. do that kind of stuff. I mean, before six o'clock, if you can. Here we go. What, what are you getting? Oh, beautiful. Yeah? Where's it taking you to in a culinary that experience? Is, that is uh, Southeast Asia. That is Thailand. Yeah? Yeah, you're feeling that? What, what can you taste? It's just layered. It's layered up. Yeah? There's so a depth to a it? Of, yeah. You're getting the spring onion now, but I've had the coriander. Getting the noodles, getting the nice broth. There's a bit of ginger in there. I think there is a bit of ginger in there. Very Not, tasty. Mr. Blythe didn't cook it, no, but... Very warm and very healthy. Yeah. Very, whoever's done that, very healthy. Yeah. Delicious. Healthy mind, healthy body. Um, okay. So your seasoning's uh, on Seasoning. point, I think, because I'm tasting everything. Yeah. Bit of star anise. Bit of star anise. There we go. They're obviously from a good neighbourhood. There we go. Yeah. Are we in, sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Delicious. Yeah, you happy with that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. If you move, uh, we, we, we're taking the train. Uh, we're taking the Orient Express across yeah, Asia. Let's go. Um, we are now in more Central Asia. Um, I believe this is. I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's Indian, Pakistani, or Bangladeshi, but it's a curry. Um, so beautiful naan bread. I mean, you don't usually just do the bread dry, sir. But okay, let's let's get stuck in there. I'm gonna try it. Oh, okay, try no, everything. No, try you're everything. Right. You're right. Here we go. Right. Right. We've got a bit of spoon action. That shirt's in bother. So you've had some no, spinach no, issues. Really like <laughs> Good luck, mate. Um, <laughs> oh, it's in. All right, talk to me. What are you feeling? Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, you having that? Wow. That oh. packs a punch. Oh dear. That's got some spice to it. That's it. Nice. Mm. You happy with that? I'm feeling some kind of bolty. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I have no idea, yeah. Well, all right, bolty dish there. Yeah. I don't know, I don't can't look around. Nice good, yeah. yeah. Spicy, I like, I like spice, so that's uh, cool. gone down well for okay. me, that has. Uh, producer, can we get a dramatic look at the chefs as we are doing this, just so we can look at the tension on their faces? Serve by his nails, here we go. Right, we're on to, we're, we're, we're in the same part of the world for the next two. Wow. Um, someone's, we, someone's got a basil plant, haven't they? I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Pete the Tree's been in and done some work with it. <laughs> with his chainsaw, he dropped some leaves off. Did you get that? That's for you, that Pete. Yeah, go, yeah. Here we go, then, sir. Bit of meatballs for you. Meatball. And he's fully homemade. Uh, yeah. yeah, from scratch. Wow. Here we go. Go on. I mean, that's in. Mm. No, no, I didn't sprinkle any. Uh, yeah, get some of that on and all. Let's do the full experience. Go on. I always do it when they come round in an Italian restaurant. I'm like, go again. I'll keep going, mate. You know what I mean? Mm. Get that in. Nice meatball. Yeah, it looks good, that. Oh, you're in a tomato as well. It's all, oh, nice. How are you finding yeah. eating stood up? Is it, it's, it's hard eating stood up? I think it's a skill, yeah. Mr. Chef, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, you happy with Very that? Very nice. Very tender meatballs. Lovely. Tender meatballs. This is, this is hard to judge, this. I know, all the pressure's on. These pressure's are like on. all my favourite foods, all in one. I know. Okay, we move on to uh, plate number four. How, so, long, how long have you had for this? About three okay. and a half weeks, mate. <laughs> 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 no, nah, we've had, no, had the 20 minutes. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> dish number four. <laughs> yeah, dish number four. <laughs> right, well right then. This was in the back of Pete the Trees van. Amazing. Here we go. Bit of croutons, bit of a Caesar on, salad for you. Can I dress? Has you, it got dressing on? It's, it's got dressing on. Uh, no, but I, I believe the chef would like you to uh, place a little bit of the extra dressing. The... Oh my God, it's a proper dressing. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Is that an anchovy actually in it? Uh, you tell me, see how the judge. I think it is. I think it's swimming in there. Here we go. Bit of a homemade croutons. It's not live, by the way. It's not live. Here we go. <laughs> the anchovy. <laughs> the anchovy. Program Just in life. case there's anyone from Peter or anything out there. <laughs> Greenpeace ringing in. Get worried, yeah. Right, get that in you. Oh, there we go. He had every part of that salad there in that. Where's that taking you to, sir? You want some kind of Tuscan? That's like a real prop. That's like a quality restaurant down down Yarm High Street, that is. Oh, dear. Do you live near Yarm, sir? Uh, couldn't possibly say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you. I think the bank. You sat on the banks of Lake Garda. You've got potentially oh, some grape juice. You're just chilling out with your Caesar salad here. <laughs> this is tough. But you've had that a flavour. Beautiful, beautiful. You've had a flavour. Sir, I'm going to have to push you. We need your ranking from fourth to right, first. No one knows my. But I mean, these are all my favourites. But no one knows my favourites <laughs> as in my favourite dish. Here we go, sir. So fourth place. Where are you going? Fourth place. Oh. Still top quality, but I'm going, I'm meatballs. 
<laughs> they're meatballs, they're in flowers. Well, I suppose I've never been fourth before. They're in <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so, run away! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So taking home the one below bronze medal, it is Charing oh, House for Mrs. Watson. Looks beautiful though. Looks beautiful. Sponsored right. by Pete the Tree. Okay, we've got three left, sir. Where are we going next? Right. Third place. I'm, got, I'm looking at, yeah, technique and everything. I'll go third place, go Caesar Salad. Caesar Salad in third place. Mr. Stewart from yeah, Curie House sure. there. Beautiful, beautiful dressing as well. It is. Lovely. Okay, so we've got our Asian persuasion. We've got our two dishes left. And I think right. everybody in the room's worked out that there's two possible winners. It's either Miss Fox or Miss Smith. It's a curry or it's an Asian broth. Right. We need a decision. Who are you putting into second place, sir? Second place. Broth. Is the Asian broth. That is Miss Fox taking on the silver it's, medal. Uh, it's just super. That curry just it hits, the, it hits the spot. It's difficult to do a very... Uh, so, can High we have a curry. round of applause for our ready, steady cook house champion, head of Charlotte, Miss Smith. Well done. Well done. Honestly, I would like happily eat all four of them just Brilliant. like over and over again. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, sir, for joining thank us. You. Thank, thank you for taking thank that you. time thank to you. Thank you, everyone. Down and eat. Key stage three, we want to see your submissions as well. Remember, use the hashtag Tunstall Mindful Menu. Send in photos of your cooking. A reminder, under adult supervision, create these fantastic dishes, send them in to us, and we hope you're all staying home and staying safe, and we'll see you soon. This has been Ready Steady Cook. 